Well, this isn't good. I'm going to turn around here and show you. It's a, I was actually in the shower getting ready to go home. It's almost uh, a little bit after 6 here on uh, Memorial Day. So, hey, I heard something that didn't sound quite right. It didn't. Ah! Good here, but he was shoving down this way, unloading the cars. These are loaded cars. Got five cars on the ground. And we got the railroad over over there. Oh, like Ralphie said in the movie. Oh, fudge. Uh, I don't know what caused this. I just got down here. But it's going to be a long night. Memorial Day. see what happened here <sighs> why this happened I don't know right here is a switch okay can you see the shiny marks over there on the rail it's a wheel flanges ah uh, the switch is thrown for the wrong position. Now, how that switch got thrown for the wrong position, that's a puzzlement because it was for the main and now it's thrown for the diverging track. So, don't know yet. I said I just got down here. The bolts are sheared out of the heel block. I don't know. Well, I think we're going to see Halcher tonight. There's nobody here. Me and the operator, train operator, and shift foreman. Uh... Somebody's been down here to shut these air hoses off. I don't know who. Like I said, I just got down here. We'll go see what we got tore up over here. Yeah. See that sig signal indicator light? It's thrown for the diverging track. Oh boy. Cause that switch to throw I'm gonna to have to investigate do some thinking on that I don't know right at this point so should be green this switch will not throw if there's cars in this loop by itself. So I would say, uh, I'm not gonna conjecture yet. We got some, uh, wow. how much rail we got rolled over here.
I'm only allowed to work till midnight because I worked 12 hours today. So this is there's going to be guys out here if they can find them, find some guys. Uh, this is a very smooth operation dumping these cars too. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell. We get the cars out of here. The ties were decent in here. You didn't see a lot of track pumping up and down. It's been dry. It's been really dry. That's another consideration in your derailments to think about is the weather. Right in through here is where it started rolling over. But it hasn't rained for a good week and it's been hot. Everything's dried out, so there's no mud. There's a lot of coal in here, but it's all dried out. And, uh, yeah, right here's where it started rolling out. Okay. Oh, fudge. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. They was running coal really, really good, too. Boy, you hate to see this. You really hate this is going to be a big expense. Okay, we'll be back. I know one thing I'll be out here in the morning. Uh, hopefully this track will all get back in service tonight if, if we can find people. There's uh, the guys on the phone now. And uh, said I'm only allowed to work till midnight. That's union rules. Okay, I'll be back. Well, okay, we have some good news. Uh, again, I haven't gone up here and checked this front car out that came off first, but what happened, why the car came off uh, yet, I don't know. Uh, what happened here is. When this rail rode over, it, it, it caused that front set of wheels to pick this switch. Okay, so we do know that's why these cars are going down the diverging track. Uh, another good thing, Halcher has got the call. They'll be here within an hour. All they're, uh, they're actually only about a half hour from us right now, but they have to get some permits. Okay. So that's good. The bad news also is, it might be hard to see that. Uh, the bad news is Frontier and GW Peoples, they've both been called. Uh, I got a hold of Frontier and, uh, you know, <laughs> this is Memorial Day and, and you know, he's they're drinking beer, the, the guy, and you can't blame him for not wanting to come out. He's not going to come out here and... Uh, drive under the influence to get here but he is on he has he's making phone calls and he is trying to get us help some help out here from frontier uh we've got a grapple truck that is on its way uh, he'll pick up some new ties there at milepost eight and bring them with him because and, and we don't know we don't know what we got under here we're gonna have to get these cars out of here and then assess the situation here uh and see what see what we're going to have to do to get the rail replaced I, I said <laughs> okay all right I'm gonna go up here and take a look at this front car see if I can see what uh, caused it to come off don't know that uh, orange thing that's the proximity switch for the for the uh, solar powered switch here Well, okay. Can't see anything. Why? That would have caused this truck set to come off. Can't see any reason why.
um, thinking just right now. Okay, hold on. So here we go. Uh, like I said, as as of now, I can't see anything in this truck set that would have caused it to derail. It, this is the first one that came off. Uh, I can't remember. I had another phone call in the middle of this video trying to find people to come out. Uh, as of right now, uh, Frontier GW Peoples, there's no nobody available uh, on this day that uh, there'll be... Uh, Two grapple trucks and, and, and whatever people they can get out here in the morning but uh i'm, I'm thinking some something whoa i'm sorry I fell off this shoulder I'm thinking something down here in this track again i'm gonna have to get the cars off get the coal out and uh that's gonna be probably after dark tonight before that happens to see if uh we got something in our our ties or something that caused that rail to start to roll over which caused that to derail and when he was loading unloading the cars he was pushing with this locomotive is that the locomotive and the first car is still on all right okay <laughs> that one's on the wrong track. <laughs> okay. We'll be back. Well, okay. Somebody, it was uh, 80 degrees today. And this is the end of May. And end of May is a pretty good time of the year for heat buckles. Or some people call them sun kinks or heat kinks. Uh, somebody suggested maybe we had a heat kink here. And with the starting and the stopping of the cars as they're unloading them, that pushed the rail. Well, I'm going to tell you say that theory I don't believe happened because if we'd had a heat buckle this track would have gone or shoved out then you would have seen ballast pushed out and you would have seen a hole over there where it would have came in and there's no hole um, no hole over there where the you know a gap where the ties had shifted there's no hole over there this has not been pushed out at all so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say we did not have a uh, a problem with a heat buckle that caused this. Um, we've got spikes pulled here, and uh, as a preliminary thing, right now, get down here. I'm going to say we had some. Uh, this is what caused our uh, derailment preliminary. But again, I'll know better after we get these cars off of here and get this cleaned out. Okay. All right. Okay, I'm on my way home, and we got something coming here. There's one of them. That looks like that's the other one behind him. I got here quick. We're here on Route 88. Little town of Sugar Grove or Hamlet. But I'm not going to be there to uh, see him.
them uh, re-rail the cars. It won't take them long. All right. I got to get home. There's another halter foreman right there. All right. Yeah, I got to get home. And because uh, I got to get up early in the morning. And uh, as of now, we uh, only have, we have a grapple truck coming also. And uh, possibly a track crew, a couple, three guys, possibly. There's two guys, actually three guys at the harbor also that can help out with the track. So I'll be, uh, I'll be back in the morning. Alrighty? Alrighty. I gotta get my eyes on a road here.